Hello, good evening to all of you. Myself, Mohammad Ayaz Khan, and now we are going to have the discussion regarding the solutions of the science and technology questions. Okay, so let's start with the question number thirty-one. Set A. Consider the following. Uh, you know the applications which are there: Arogya Setu, then Covin, DigiLocker, Diksha, and the question is which of the following are built on on top of open source digital platform so for actually here this is not the time to obviously to explain you the details of that so if you just want to be the straightforward answer the answer is d hmm? now basically you know arogya setu is a uh, huh, basically huh, for which was developed at the time of covid then covid obviously to register for the for the vaccination digi locker where you can store your documents diksha is an educational app where the teachers and the learners can have access to the content. Now, basically, what is open source? See, open source is like where the people can have access, anybody can have access to the source code, huh? so which is open for all. So, that is like simple common sense if you could, could have applied. These are all somewhere obviously done by the government and they are for the mass consumption. So, it is not going to be proprietary softwares or the applications. So, in this case, the answer is straight, uh, not a straightforward. Obviously, the examination pressure is simply different ball game. But the answer is D for this question. I hope you have got it right. Hmm. Now we will move to the next question. Hmm. So, if you see those who have attended the classes, current affairs program, we discuss Web 3.0. Huh? So the question is with reference to Web 3.0. Consider the following statements. Huh? Web 3.0 technology enables people to control their own data. This is the significance decentralization. Hmm? So, this is statement is true. Hmm? Second statement is uh, Web 3.0 world there can be uh, it is blockchain based social network. Yes, there is a use of blockchain technology in Web 3.0. So, this is statement is also true. So, 1 and 2 is right. Hmm? Now, we have to see the third one. Web 3.0 is operated by users collectively rather than corporation. If you remember the first one of the, the remarkable feature of Web 3.0 is the decentralization. Decentralization obviously people will be controlling it rather than the corporation. So answer for question number 32 is D. Hmm. D. That is 1, 2 and 3. Okay. Got it. So question for regarding the answer for Web 3.0 is 1. 2 and 3. Now, move to the next one. This is again, uh, I am not boasting anything. Uh, I am saying with lot of humility and numberless software as a service. Hmm? Cloud computing has multiple uh, dimensions. One of them is a software as a service. Now, software as a service bias, the question is, can customize the user interface? Yes. Hmm. Software as a service allows the customization. Like, say, for example, you can opt for the storage you want huh, regarding the Dropbox or anything. So, customization is an option which is available. First is right. Can access their data through mo their mobile devices? Yes, it can be accessed through the mobile devices. Mobile devices does not mean only the mobile phone. Okay. Outlook, Hotmail, and Yahoo Mail are forms of SaaS. Yes. They are all forms of SaaS hmm? that is software as a service. Hmm? So basically software as a service, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, function as a service. These are the different dimensions of the cloud computing and here cloud means the, the internet. So answer again, hmm, just a coincidence, answer is again D. So now do not think that all the questions in science and technology will have D option correct. Huh? So I hope by now you are getting all the questions right. Hmm? Now, uh, again, this was like uh, this question, hmm, question number 34 is about fractional orbital bombardment system. Now, fractional orbital bombardment, orbit se bombard ho raha hai. Hmm. Itna agar aap isko break down kar lo, to C is the answer. A hypersonic missile is launched into space to counter the asteroid. No, sir, bombardment it is talking about. So, it is not about, about obviously asteroid deflection. A spacecraft lands on another planet after making several orbital motions. No, again, that is also not bombardment. A missile is put into a stable orbit around the Earth and deorbits over a target. Deorbit bombardment. 
over a target on the earth so answer is c okay so this was again this was a factual question you have very little scope of applying the concept here but question number 34 fractional orbital bombardment system the answer is c hmm? now move further question number 35 oh my goodness hmm? it can't get better than this hmm? all of my students must be must have been jumping with the joy especially those who are not not from science background okay qubit hmm? qubit means quantum bit and it is obviously associated with quantum computing that's it hmm? so answer for 35 b quantum computing huh? no scope for explanation quantum bits where all the possible combinations can exist simultaneously huh? like 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 all can exi exist simultaneously that is called qubit okay now let us uh, move to the next one question number 36 or 37 whatever is the number huh. communication technologies hmm? Again, they are talking about short range technology. Short range technology is basically based on Wi Fi or something like that. Hmm? Closed circuit television, now uh, short range is somewhere around close to 100 meter range, it is having hmm? uh, anything from obviously few centimeters going to 100 meter, that is short range technology. So, CCTV obviously operates uh, in that particular range, radio frequency operates obviously at a very small range wireless local area network this is bit uh, this third option the range is somewhere from 50 meter to 150 meter but as that falls within the 100 meter so that also obviously is uh, is being considered as a short range technology short range as uh, like is about uh, up to 100 meter somewhere hmm? so answer for 36 again d hmm? move further ah yes hmm? This question is about biofilms, biofilms like a thin layer which is formed if you see like if you put uh, some uh, you know like a piece of bread with some moisture on it, hmm, then you will find after some time, some time does not mean few minutes or a few hours, hmm, maybe in a day or so, there will be a thin, lift, thin film over there and that thin, that, that thin film is having uh, obviously microorganisms over there and the chemicals made by those organisms. So, that thin layer formed by the accumulation of the microorganisms and the chemicals formed by them over the surface of the food material, over the medical devices and even over the you know stagnated water that is called biofilm. Hmm? Yes, it can form on medical implants within the human tissues which can lead to infections, hmm? can form on food, for food and food processing services. Yes, there is a by organic material that organic material is being consumed hmm? by these bacteria. If there is organic material which is biodegradable, there will always be the scope of the growth of the microorganisms. Hmm? And in that biofilm, antibiotic resistance is being exhibited because that, that biofilm will also have the accumulation of the chemicals and the overexposure to the chemicals in that biofilm obviously over a period of time imparts antibiotic resistance. So, here the question for 37 answer is D. Hmm? Biofilm is having answer D. Good, wonderful. Hmm. So, you got it right. Hmm. Uh, this uh, hmm. now move further. COVID-19, oh my goodness, I was jumping with the joy after seeing this question. Huh? So, uh, pandemic consider the following statement above are correct. So, there are three statements, we have to find the correct statement. The Serum Institute of India produced COVID-19 vaccine norm named Covishield using mRNA. No sir, it is not mRNA, mRNA platform, it is using viral vector, it is viral vector. Hmm? So, statement 1 is incorrect. Hmm? So, if statement 1 is incorrect, if you know this much, A cannot be the answer, C cannot be the answer, D cannot be the answer, what is left? Only B is left. Hmm? But again, just for your satisfaction, Sputnik V is manufactured using vector. Yes, it has used uh, the adenovirus. 
Covaxin is an inactivated pathogen based vaccine. Yes. So, second and third are right and the first is incorrect. First is incorrect. So, question number 39 answer is B. Answer is B. Hmm. Ah, question number 40. Question number 40, solar, solar fear, again in current affairs program, I discussed hmm, geomagnetic storm. Huh, I did not discuss these many options, but again, if you see, this is all about common sense. Hmm. So, GPS and navigation system could fail. Yes, solar flare means the release of charged particles coming from sun. That is called solar flare. Hmm. So, this is statement is right, but sir, one is available, one to sir, is many, this is quota though. Tsunamis could occur at equatorial region. There is no evidence to suggest because sir or ma'am those charged particles are not coming to the surface of the earth. They are being deflected by the magnetic field of the earth and when they are being deflected by the magnetic field of the earth, the tsunami to take place obviously there has to be some geological phenomenon and obviously that geological phenomenon is not taking place here. So, statement 2 is incorrect and if statement 2 is incorrect, A cannot be the answer. And D cannot be the answer. So, answer is C only. Baki power grids, yes, will fail. Intense aurora. Intense aurora means that when the charged particles are being reflected by the earth's magnetic field, they will move to the poles and there will be light phenomenon. Hmm. Okay. Forest fires, when it is not coming to the surface, how come the forest fire? Hmm. Orbits will be deflected. Hmm. And short wave radio communication will also get affected. Hmm. Means all forms of communication systems will get affected. Remember one line. Power grids obviously again at the end of the day current, electricity, hmm, there will be differences, hmm, disturbances. So, answer is 40, answer is C. Now, question number 69. Hmm. Non-fungible token, I hope yeah, they have long shy thoda about hmm? non-fungible token, non-fungible token. First and foremost, second is right. Hmm? But sir, second C may nahi hai. It is based on blockchain technology. So C ko top hai. They enable the digital representation of physical assets. Didn't I told you that Amitabh Bachchan has gone for obtaining non-fungible token for the Madhushala poem written by his father? Okay. This is basically, agar aapko yaad ho, I gave you the example of RC, registration certificate of a vehicle. Hmm? Like for each vehicle, there is a unique registration certificate. Similarly, for the art forms which exist in physical form, we issue a unique digital code which is based on blockchain technology. Hmm? So, they represent the digital. So, first one is right. Hmm? When the first one is right, so B cannot be the answer now. Hmm? So, ab humay sirf dekhna hai ke third sahi hoga ke nahi hoga. Uh, okay, they can be traded or exchanged at equivalency. Sir, equivalency ka matlab kya hai? Hmm? Ke, mene aapko ye pen diya, uske badle mein aapne mobile diya mujhko. This is equivalency, barter system jisko kehte hain. Obviously, they don't work on the principle of equivalency, otherwise market prices keep on improving. So, third statement is wrong equivalency per work nahi the first and second are right so answer will be a dekho change sabhi ka answer d nahi hai hmm. okay, d for delhi laga diya hmm. nahi a for uh, chalo hmm. let's move further hmm. so question number 69 hmm. then obviously move further hmm. question number 99 hmm. Barcoding, DNA barcoding, common sense lagate question solve jada. DNA barcoding, it is very much like DNA fingerprinting. Bus, huh? DNA barcoding means in the DNA of each organism, there is a specific region which is used for identifying them. Bus, isi ko kehte na DNA fig. It is like that barcoding which is there on the books or any item, huh? Na? To usko DNA barcoding, when you are looking to use it for biological organism, DNA barcoding. Now, you plastic bottle, you have soft drink, you have line, you have to use barcode. That is the unique identification of that product. Similarly, each living organism also have a unique identification. That is DNA barcode in common sense. It will never be able to help you in assessing the age. So, age is not going to be 
बाहर हो गए डिस्टिंग्विश अमंग स्पीशीज यूनिकनेस पता चल रही है दे माइट लुक लाइक लुक अलाइक लाइक अ साइबेरियन टाइगर एंड इंडियन टाइगर दे माइट लुक अलाइक बट एक एग्जिस्ट करता है इन द कोल्डेस्ट पार्ट पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एंड अनदर एग्जिस्ट इन द्यूमिड पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड तो वो देखने में एक से लग रहे हैं तो स्टेटमेंट टू इज राइट तो सर फिर वन इज रॉन्ग टू इज राइट तो ये भी अब सर आइडेंटिफाई अनडिजायरेबल एनिमल और प्लांट मटेरियल यस इन प्रोसेस्ड फूड्स प्रोसेस्ड फूड्स मीन मार्केट से आ रहे हैं जीएम प्रोडक्ट्स का हम पता लगा सकते हैं थ्रू डीएनए बार कोडिंग से सो आंसर इज डी टू एंड थ्री दैट्स इट सो दिस वॉज माई हम्बल यू नो टास्क फॉर यू पीपल ऑन दिस डे आई विल नॉट टेक एनी फर्दर टाइम ऑफ योर्स ओके Uh, I just wish you all the best, and if I could be of any help to you in your course of preparation, I will be more than happy. Okay, all the best. See you when you will be writing your mains in the month of September. Thank you very much for your patience and your presence. Thank you.